There we go. Um, not a work boot or a Wellington today. We've got my, well, I think they're classed as snow boots, aren't they? Um, but they're the Sorrel Caribou boots or Caribou boots, however you pronounce it. Um, I got these last year on the Amazon Black Friday deal because my wellies had just just given up the ghost, my schmoes, they got split in so I needed something um, quick and cheap really um, to just tide me over and, and I wanted something warmer than wellies as well for when I go fishing sat on the cold lake bank side it's when, when you sat doing nothing your feet do get very cold um, and, and to be honest these aren't great my opinion of these is not great I think the RRP of these is about £150, isn't it? £140, something like that. But I got these on the Amazon Black Friday deal last year um, for, I think it was £45, 40, £45 or £50 delivered. Which for that, I guess, is alright. But there's other boots you can get which are better than these. Um, if, if you're not wearing them for... If you're just wearing them as like a... As a, I don't know, a fashion statement, then... You do you, but for me it's not about that. <laughs> it's about keeping my feet warm. Um, to be fair, they are waterproof. I've been I've been up to well, you can see where I've been up to, kind of lower lower shin height, um, and I haven't let water in. So in that respect, that's good. Um, but they're very cumbersome. I'm usually a size eight um, UK eight UK men's. Um, but I do have a wide foot. But the reviews people give these, they say, they say go a size down. I don't know what size these are. I don't know whether I went a size down or... Let me have a look. Yeah, I went half a size down. They're seven and a half. And I probably should have gone to a seven because they're massive. They feel massive when they're on. But for, for 45 or 50 quid, however much I paid, I wasn't going to spend 10, 15 pounds sending them back. So I just, I kept them. Um, but if if you do want to buy them, definitely go a size down to your usual, because they are very oddly sized. They're massive. Um, but I do use these. I used these the other day when I was fishing because I haven't got any wellies anymore. Um, which I don't know if there'll be another video of my wellies which I ordered coming up or already on. I don't know. Um, so I I did wear them and it was less i think it was about six degrees and i could start to feel the cold obviously obviously i was just sat there i wasn't moving about so if you're moving about it might be fine um but i was just sat there and it was about six or seven degrees and i my feet weren't freezing but i could start to feel that like they were going to get cold if, if i was if it was any lower of a temperature they would have got cold and i have been in a lower temperature with these and my feet do get cold in these um Obviously, wellies they get cold in as well because wellies are then never going to be warm, are they? Unless you're moving about, really. But for these, for the money they are, you would expect them to. I don't know what the rating is. I think it's something like rated down to minus forty or fifty, isn't it? And it says, which is absolute uh, trollop, because if you were sat down in minus any minus temperatures your feet would be cold in these i'm a person i'm a person that does get cold feet so i'm i'm a person to judge it on that but then again you could get 30 pound snow boots couldn't you and it would probably do better than these in the warmth but the, the linings are removable you can remove the linings if you if you need to wash them I haven't actually worn them that much. I've probably worn them less than twenty times, um, just because they're so they just feel so big and clumsy. So I only whack them out when it is really cold, because they are even though they're not great in the cold, they're better than my walking boots, um, and they're better than wellies for, for, for cold. But there there are better boots out there to combat the cold if you want to spend a bit more. I think. Um, 
a lot of people, especially fishermen, rate baffin um, trappers, they're called. I think they're about £140. Um, but because I I wouldn't spend that much just to just for a fishing boot because I walk my dogs and everything and I, I don't know if the trappers are up to that like every day walking every day walking two or three miles um I don't know what the wear would be like so I stick to wellies which are meant for like good like a a make that's been up to that so yeah I'll give them away because everyone likes to know how, much, how heavy they are let's turn it on oh, it's zero grams and they have got a bit of mud on obviously um there's the tread though if you can see the tread they're not actually that bad in 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 the mud but yeah they weigh and if you can see that nearly pretty much 1.2 kilos each each boot which is quite heavy isn't it but yeah if you see the linings yeah these are seven and a half you can take those out easily I guess they are Bit ripped there from a bramble or something. But as I say, yeah, they definitely they definitely are waterproof and they're not a bad looking boot. I wouldn't wear them around town or anything because it's a bit <laughs> it's a bit pointless. But yeah, there they are. If I, if I was gonna get some boots in this style again I think I'd go maybe the I think Na a, a fishing mate called Nash do some called the um, the ZT field boots um, or there's a brand called Ski Techs that do some very similar which are, have got much more of a history um, and they're about £90 and I think the Nash field boots are about 60 to 70 pounds I believe so near enough half the price of these so yeah cheers